This is the video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, July 22nd, 2022. First of all, my apologies for any missed emails and meetings this past week. On Saturday, my grandmother Sue Powell died and I've been up in Michigan gathered with the family. So a few things are true um, and, and I've been reflecting on them both this week and on the drive back to Nebraska across Iowa and the prairie. Of all of the families I've worked with in grief over the last um, number of years that I've been doing this job, uh, the one thing that no family has ever said, ever, uh, is, well, gee, this is a lot easier than I expected it to be. It's always harder. My grandmother was 87 years old, died at home surrounded by family. All of us had a chance to say goodbye over the last few months, and it is still very, very hard. There's a Albert Huffstickler poem called The Cure that um, I find a way to work into a lot of memorial services, but the, the middle part goes like this. How can I say it? The poet writes. The way to get over a life is to die. Short of that, you move with it. Let the pain be pain. Not in the hope that it will vanish, but in the faith that it will fit in. Find its place in the shape of things. And be then not any less pain, but true to form. So. Sue Powell was a hell of a person, an important person in my life. I will miss her a great deal. And I will be telling stories about her for a very, very long time. Here, though, this Sunday, I'm guest preaching in Kansas City, covering the pulpit at All Souls while Kendall Gibbons recovers from her recent stroke. Up here in Lincoln, the congregation will continue its summer indigenous programming with a Sunday morning with Reverend Kia Bordner, a UU minister and indigenous activist one of the founders of the Indigenous Unlearning Conversations podcast, which we will hopefully be uh, announcing details about um, one of those podcasts that's recording live um, tomorrow afternoon, Saturday. That will hopefully be in the e-blast this afternoon. If not, it will go out in a supplemental e-blast on Saturday morning. So when Stacy and I drove to Michigan last Sunday, uh, we listened to the sermon from Kevin Aberask about the Niskithe prayer camp and what the next steps are here in Lincoln. Now, officially, the summer uh, series that we are in the midst of is fully lay-led. I'm not actually scheduled to preach as a part of it. But after listening to, to Kevin's words, I did sit down and sketch out a sermon responding to what he said and, and talking more about my experience with Niskithe this spring and my hopes for the congregation's partnership with the community going forward. I'm not sure exactly when that sermon will happen. Um, it probably won't be a part of this particular six-week series, um, but we'll pick up there relatively, uh, relatively early in the fall or late in the summer. It's been on my mind. How do we, how do we take this incredible six-week series that, that our membership has put together over the summer and really build on it uh, and not just have it be a thing that we do and then is done, but rather be the seed of, of an ongoing part of this congregation's identity. More on that at some point. For now, have a great weekend. Uh, <laughs> drink lots of water. It's supposed to be hot. Um, and I will see you around in the update on Tuesday. <laughs>